Hello, welcome back to Team Wool Sheep Reviews. Being as the weather has been so bad lately, um, time for a sort out in the shed. And come across a few ideas. A friend of mine gave me these batteries. He flies uh, helicopters. 6S, 5 amp. So, I was thinking, portable charge station. Charge these bad boys up. And then we've got something to charge our light bulbs with. Waste not, want not. So, started to put things together. And cut a bit of, uh, bit of board to go in there. So, with some of my uh, voltmeter. Some cable. Some EC3 plugs. Means I got three batteries. I thought I'd solder on these uh, EC3 plugs onto a bit of error board, and I'm going to fuse the output. I got some of these uh, banana plug sockets, some banana plugs, a switch. Yeah, what else do I need? Right, this is my current charge station. Uh, I got the eye charger. And I've also got a second charger because I heat uh, waiting. So uh, the Accusil 6 is the 80 amp version. So it gives me 10 amp charge. Uh, I've mounted these on Velcro so they can be removed and they can become portable. The only problem is LEM to 18 volts. Yeah, LEM to 18 volts. A 6S is 22 volts fully charged but 24 volts so it's not going to be too happy having 24 volts shoved into what's supposed to be 18 a maximum of 18 volts so I have an idea what I found is this power converter when you think uh, our lorries and things run on 24 volts so you've got a truck running on 24 volts but all the accessories are 12 volts. What do they use? Power supply, DC, DC, boost converter, 24 volts down to 12 volts regulator. Yep, 10 amps. Should be absolutely perfect. Ding dong, I've got it. Let's open it up and have a look. Yeah, not, uh, not too big. Stick it in the box. Job done. Yeah, bigger switch. This is um, single throw, double pull. So, yeah, that should be man enough to do it. I should be able to take full current through there. This is at 240 volts. This is 15 amp, 20 amp at 120 volt. A DC is going to be about 50, 60 amps. Um, yeah, so this will be fine more than man enough this one might be a little bit what i'll use this little switch for is for switching the voltmeter on and off so and the alarm so that's also um single throw double pole so i can switch the voltmeter through it and i can also switch the battery monitor through it so mm, awesome it's going to come together nice what i've done as you can see what i've done there this is a, a damaged piece I've actually put uh, bridged a couple of tracks with solder and then basically soldered the plug into, into place there, or the pins, onto the board. And so, so they're soldered on quite solid. I put hot glue then to hold them, stop them flexing, because if they flex or bend, you rip the tracks off. So what I've done now, I'm going to use this inline fuse and it's a 20 amp inline fuse like you'd have in the car it's one I had spare from old uh, car alarm um, and if you notice I've cut the tracks basically with this stuff you just use a, a drill bit and use it to, to drill out the tracks so you, you can see I've, I've broken the um, the copper straps only on the positive leg just to check positive and I'm going to solder this across there so then I've got a fuse so this will be the output then for it'll go to the, from there to the switch from the switch 
to the power uh, the power reducer um yeah and there it is as you can see the fuse is effectively going across soldered on that side soldered on this side and so from this side on it's now protected by 20 amp fuse um that will be hot glued into position there so i got an inline fuse right what i've done as i said i was going to do i've used my 6s extension lead i've interrupted the the negative leg through the switch through one pole of the switch so when i throw the switch it basically disconnects the negative off the air from from the battery so the boat monitor goes off so no power to the boat. So I got an ability to switch that on. I got a voltmeter. With the voltmeter, I've interrupted the positive leg, taken it to the switch and back. So there's no switching going on involved. And then I've taken from the switch to the voltmeter. So hopefully, when I plug it in, I should have the ability to switch the voltmeter on and off as well. So let's have a look. So when it's in the case, I'll be this is always the dodgy moment is it going to go in a puff of smoke <laughs> so be careful ready to unplug no everything's fine i've got confidence i've done this before right so switch on vote meters running and the battery alarm monitor is running so this can sit inside the box not really interested in that that's on the outside giving me my battery status so and i can switch it on and off 23.1 all 23.1 we in between 3.12 so yeah that's working perfectly so that's all i need to do now is install it in my case And it's finished just to give you a run through it's a turnergy 80 watt charger and the balance board four batteries at the same time they are actually mounted on velcro so they can be removed right just to give you a look under the hood it's uh, held on with velcro on the end and I've hooked in an aluminium lip there so that the back plate can go in there. As you can see, there's three five amp hour batteries. Um, uh, they're 6S. So if you think of it on um, 3S, that's equivalent of 10 amp hours. I've got a 24 to 12 volt regulator there. And there she is, bolted in. As you can see, uh, one of the batteries is connected to a battery monitor, which you would all recognise. Um, 
so if the batteries start to run down that's going to alarm inside as you can see it's all plugged in all connected however there's no battery alarm because what i've done let me just clip it back in what i've done i've installed a switch the switch will tell me the battery voltage and as uh, you heard the uh, battery monitor alarm there however the charge is not powered on energizing I've got a neon indicator there and then there's power to the charger so use the char charger as normal obviously if the battery monitor starts alarming then you run the batteries down too far so yeah that's it i'm really pleased can't wait to take it out yeah before i close out i'd just like to say a, a thank you to steve and andy uh, our helicopter boys for donating their batteries uh, for me to make this project it was an idea i had after seeing the uh, the batteries and the size of the batteries um did a bit of maths and i thought hmm i could get quite a lot of charges for my uh, mini quad batteries out of that so and that's where the idea started so yeah i hope uh, i hope you get some ideas from this and try and get hold of some batteries and build yourself a portable charger not difficult i'll uh, list the parts on that i got from ebay uh the power regulator was the uh, the biggest obstacle um what i found is a lot of the two energy chargers run on 18 volts running them on 18 volts uh didn't help really when you've got 6s batteries that are 22 24 volts don't really make much sense when you can charge 6s batteries off these chargers yet they won't run off of 6s batteries a bit confusing the i chargers very expensive not the type of thing you want to hump around in your uh, out on site so too expensive so i thought this two energy charger cheap and cheerful will do the job i can use it and abuse it and i am going to worry about it i just hope the batteries uh, stay sound but uh, no trickle charging off these batteries i'll get lots of charges off them with no worries whatsoever there's no high discharge so there should be no risk of them uh, combusting or being a problem or ballooning so yeah i'm really uh, i'm really pleased with that and uh, i hope you keep watching please subscribe thank you i hope you enjoyed that and give you a few ideas so all i've got to say is build one can't buy it okay buy the bits and build one <laughs> thank you very much